Hi everybody and welcome to your daily tower reading for Friday the 30th of November 2018. Thank you for joining me. It is a pleasure to be with you today. I am taking requests at the moment. So someone asked me to use the Osho Zen deck yesterday, so I'm using it today. Um, but before I do the reading, I just want to tell you a little anecdote. Um, because in the weekly horoscope that I did for this week, I mentioned that this week is a week of having to stand up for yourself and having to really be assertive. And I had this experience yesterday, so it's really applied uh, to my life. I got contacted by an astrology company online and they asked me to make a video to endorse their product. And I looked at their site and I thought it was a, it was a good site and um, I was happy to do that. Um, they weren't paying me anything, but their offer was that they would, um, you know, promote me on their on their Facebook page, and it would be nice extra uh, kind of exposure for me. So I did the video. Uh, they rejected that because uh, they wanted some extra specifications. So I said, okay, fine. Then. I made the second video, I made very, very sure that I follow all their instructions. I got one thing wrong, I think, um, but they were adding other things at the bottom that they wanted that um, they hadn't included in the second kind of brief that they were, that, for the video that they wanted me to make. So yesterday I really thought, well, this isn't going to work. And in a lesson I've learned is that if you're starting something and you're starting it and there are already bad terms and people are upset and there's negativity, it's not going to have a happy outcome. Something that starts really badly usually ends badly. So because I feel that, I I um, pulled out of it. I wrote to the guy and um, I said, I'm pulling out of this because, you know, I don't feel good about it and I also don't like making all these videos. It took me eight takes to make the second video. It took me a long time. And um, I don't, I, I'm i gonna pull out of this, this isn't for me. And the guy, in response, we were communicating on Skype, he, he started laughing at me. And that laughter was the confirmation that he absolutely had no respect for me or my work, and it was a joke to him. And I was so happy to hear that because it was confirmation that it was right for me to pull out. And also, um, he works for a company, so he, he, he typed out this laughter at me and this really sarcastic, horrible message, and he immediately deleted it, so I couldn't take a snapshot of it. So that kind of sneakiness as well is, is something that I abhor. I value honesty and integrity, and for someone to first of all, laugh at me and then delete that comment so that he couldn't be pulled up for it afterwards really kind of disgusted me. So I have felt the energy this week and that's how it happened in my case. Let's have a look at what this day is about and uh, what you're going to be experiencing. So let's have a look at what the Osho Zen deck wants you to know. Shuffling away here. Shuffle, shuffle, shuffle. Sorrow. That's the Nine of Swords. Adventure in reverse. And the Miser. Wow, I like her. She looks great. Isn't that a great card? It's so expressive. That's what this deck is so good at. Just really expressing these amazing characters. All right. So the Nine of Swords is about sorrow, it's about worrying, and it's about really just feeling miserable and crushed by the weight of the, the heaviness that is weighing on you. There's only a slight sliver of hope left, the slight sliver of seeing the stars. It's closing in on him, the walls are shutting in, and he feels like he's going to be trapped forever in this gray nothingness waste and that obviously is sorrow now swords is a suit of air and it has to do with thinking ideas and communication so the message is that if you try and figure everything out today you're just going to build more kind of faulty thoughts and you're going to make it harder on yourself and if you want to have a good day don't listen to your ideas so much 
listen to your heart and your feelings. And if you have an idea, don't isolate like he is. Communicate with other people. A burden shared is a burden halved. Um, and you may say, goodness, Greg, what a selfish thing to say that I'm suffering, so I should tell someone else about it so they can suffer too. I don't mean it like that. I mean that if you talk to other people and you brainstorm about all these things that are on your mind, you may get a solution that will then open this doorway back up and that you have hope and that you see a way forward, okay? So the big thing today is do not isolate yourself. If there are thoughts that are problematic, difficult, call someone. If you're sitting at home and you feel ashamed because of something you've done that day, call up a close friend, someone who isn't a gossip, someone you can trust, and you say, Susan, I'm just calling because I need to get this off my chest. I've done a terrible thing today. I feel guilty about it, and I just need to talk to someone. By talking to Susan, she may have experienced that herself, and she may have experience in how to make that wrong right. So the answer to your problems today isn't by thinking and going within. The answers are by going without and looking, looking for solutions in the real world. What's interesting is that the adventure card is reversed because going on an adventure, this young girls, it's almost like Alice going into Wonderland here. It's an adventure it's being on the very threshold of experiencing something new. You don't need to go anywhere to experience something new. You don't need to physically move. You don't need to um, find something that's going to solve all your problems. But by communicating with other people, you get rid of the gray, you get rid of the black and white, and you replace that with rainbows. And to me, when I'm driving along and I see a rainbow, to me, it symbolizes hope, magic. I know it's just the light being refracted by um, the water, but it's, it's a magical thing. Rainbows are proof that magic does exist in the world and that we can manifest glorious things that are beyond our wildest dreams. Finally, the miser is another is another card that says, I'm isolating myself, I'm keeping my jewels to myself, I'm going to build a wall so that no one can get to it. And look at her face. Is that the face of someone who's happy? I don't think so. And I think they've, they've drawn her as someone like this because her behavior has really kind of, you know, like the picture of Dorian Gray? It's a story about a boy who's, who uh, never ages, and instead of him age, he makes a deal with the devil, and instead of him aging, the portrait ages. So he does all these terrible things, but he still looks innocent and beautiful, and the painting is this horrific um, monster, because the thought is that the actions that you take in your life are written in your face. And in this case, her behavior, her miserliness, is written in her face by this this real you know it's not nice it looks like someone who's who's paranoid who's cruel um it's just had a really awful impact on her i mean the color of her she's gray she looks like she's half dead so n none of the treasures and the jewels in life are going to make you happy What's going to make, neither is going to be worrying, because remember worrying is a meditation on the negative and you just create more things to worry about. The thing to do is to stay where you are, to open up and to let go. We've got the rainbow here as well. Let go of this, this, this need to control and to feel like I have to protect what I've got from other people because they will steal it. I'm worried about what other people are going to do to me and I can't trust anybody and I have to be by myself and hope is closing and I've been betrayed and I don't, I don't know how I'm going to be able to trust again. You don't need to go anywhere to do that. All you need to do 
is get in touch with your inner child and look at how that's feeling at the moment. Is it crying in a corner? Is it, is it sitting there heartbroken? Or is it happy playing with toys internally? It's a great technique to go into situations in the past where you've been hurt in your life and to mentally visualize yourself going into those situations and intervening as an adult the way someone should have intervened when you were hurt. You can do that today. You can get in touch with your inner child and see how that inner child is feeling. Is it feeling afraid that it's got, that other people are going to steal their ideas or their money? Is it worried and is it is it got the weight of the world on its shoulders? You go in there as an adult and you pick up your inner child and you rock and cradle your inner child and you tell your inner child, remember that there are miracles that happen every day in life and your security is not money and your security is not by thinking about things or worrying about the future, trying a lot of people worry as a kind of insurance policy. If I worry about things, then at least I'm prepared for when they come. 99% of the things that we worry about never really arrive. So intervene, make your inner child happy and show your inner child that there are rainbows in the world, that things can be wonderful. And all you need to do, sounds very simple, harder to do in reality, all you need to do today is surrender to the beauty of the universe that creates rainbows. I can't create rainbows myself. I don't think you can either. Well, we can if with technology and things, but you know, if it was just us a hundred years ago, physically without technology, we can't do that. So it's about nurturing and soothing yourself and taking care of your inner child and remembering that miracles happen every day. Marianne Williamson is a big um, teacher of the Course in Miracles, and she says that miracles are a natural part of life. And if there aren't miracles and wonders happening in your life on a daily basis, then something has gone wrong. And today, you have the chance to leave behind the demands of the real physical world to go within and to create magic within. And when you make your inner child happy, you make your present adult self happy as well. And your inner child will want to play and it will give you the energy and even the focus to look at something new. It gives you hope and it gives you the energy and the love and the connection that you need to set a new goal and to realize that you're free and that you can move forward to create new wonderful things in your life and that your life isn't over. You've gone through certain chapters, you can draw a line under those and today you can bring rainbows and unicorns and fairies and your hopes and wishes and you can realize those because you've surrendered all the worry and all the miserliness and the control and the clinging to things you know like scrape like when someone tries to get you out of a thing it's like the scratch marks left on the wood because you're holding on so long and so tightly just let go surrender and miracles will happen today and your inner child will give you information as to how you can create miracles as an adult in the actual physical world. Not bad as far as days go. Number wise, we've got nine and one is 10, and four is 14, one and four is five, and five is freedom. So freedom from money and worrying about money, freedom from your own head and the constant negative voice of the ego. And by surrendering that and looking to the higher power, your inner child, your higher self, they're all the same thing. By looking at that, you create rainbows and wonders and magic. And you can do that from your home, sitting in your armchair, from the comfort of your ho own home, and you don't have to do anything. And you can achieve emotional freedom today or a spiritual awakening that really allows you to say, okay, 
I've now got the idea to create something fabulous in future. So have a wonderful day. Wow. It's an amazing week. There's a lot going on. So have a wonderful, wonderful day. If you would like a private reading with me, if you're unsure about what to do for work, um, if you're really in financial difficulties and you want to figure out how to get out of those difficulties, please get in touch with me for a personal reading. I use astrology, tarot, and numerology in my readings. The, pers the astrology chart shows me what you're going to be good at work-wise and what you're going to enjoy. And when you live your vocation, your life purpose when it comes to work, money is a side effect of living something that you care about. It also shows me what your life purpose is and whether it's the same as your working aptitude, where you've been in past lifetimes, what's destined for you in love and relationships and money and friendships and spiritual progress. So if you're interested in any of that or you have any questions, then please get in touch with me via my website, gregoryscott.com. Click on the readings tab to order your reading. If you like my videos, please share them and hit the subscribe button. And I'll... That would be very kind of you. I'd appreciate it. And I'll speak to you tomorrow.